to you a little bit more about elements and principles, but primarily what I want to talk to you about is citing. As we move into this week, we're going to be uh, very focused on, on how when you look up information or do research, how you are very careful to present the fact that that is not your information or research, or it is your research, but it's not something that you made up yourself, in other words. I'll, let's see if I can explain it as we go along. I'm using this particular portrait. I found it on Webliography in the Met. Um, and here's some of the information that I got off of the page. This is uh, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, uh, the metmuseum.org site. And, uh, you know, it, it has who, the, who this uh, particular woman is. Um, and she's, we'll just call her the Princess de Broglie. And it was painted by uh, Jean-Auguste Dominique Ang, um, and it gives dates on him. Now, all of this is on that web page. If I start citing this, then I have to list that web page in my citing. Okay, I'm saying not S-I-T-E, but C-I-T-E, where I give reference to the fact or to where I get this information. Otherwise, I'm, I'm plagiarizing something, you see. So... Uh, looking at this particular art, art, article and all that, and let's assume that my question was to write about this painting, okay? Then probably what I would do would be to copy down all this information somewhere. Now, all this information here is what I want to be sure I have. Now, in addition to that information, if you go to this site right here, uh, I'll leave it up for a second. It's web2.slc.qc.ca slash library slash site underscore document dot htm. And I'll try to put that maybe in an email or in the text of this announcement. Dot, I'm sorry, dot htm and then the, the uh, pound mark capital I and internet. Now that should take you to this page. What is this page? Well, look at the title, How to Cite a Document in MLA Style. This is the ultimate, the ultimate reference that we will be using for citing. And as you move through your courses in, in any college or higher education area, this is something you're going to hear more and more about if you have not heard about it before. Okay. Now, the whole article starts all the way up here, How to Cite a Document. Uh, and you can just look if, if you don't want to, you know, copy that down. Just write MLA style and look for this particular thing. But you're looking for how to cite a document in MLA, okay? And it tells you when you get that, you can go to books. This is how to do a, a reference, a book, if, you're, if you want to cite a book. Let's say you were reading Winston Churchill and he said this was the most wonderful painting he'd ever seen. Well, and you want to say in your book, Winston Churchill thought this was a wonderful painting. Well, you have to say where you read that, and maybe you read it in his autobiography. I'm making that up but to give you an idea. Um, internet source, which I'll bring up, an article from a magazine, a reference book like an encyclopedia or a dictionary. All of these things need to be cited. All right. And if you get this page that I'm on right now, if you bring this up, you can scroll down and read all about how to do this, and, and that's a wonderful thing to have. All right. Now, we're going back to this, and I'm going to kind of fast forward a little bit. Let's assume I've written about this particular painting. Um, and I know I have to cite it, so I'm going to go back to that MLA, and it tells me I have to write down who the author is. Well, we're talking about an artist in this particular case, so I'm going to go ahead and put the artist right there. And then the author, the title of the book, the whatever, this is a painting, so I'm shortening that title a bit. Um, I'm not sure that I would do that if I were doing this as a research paper, but I think I can do it here. And then I'm going to write down what the website is, which is the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and actually give reference to that site. So basically, anybody who wanted to check this reference, all I'd have to do would be to go to that particular, uh, highlight it like I'm doing without getting the date in there, highlight it, paste it in my browser address box, and it ought to take me right there to where it is. Now, uh, and then I'm giving the date when all of this site was updated. And I just had to poke around a little bit to get some dates off of it. Actually, I think I went to their financial statement, and this was the latest one. So I assume they upgraded or updated their other pages as well when they did that. So that kind of tells you that this is fairly recent. All right. 
Now, in the actual article, I might want to tell you more about that than just giving you this information right here. I might want to tell you, for example, the way that article started out on the page was although portraiture was a genre he increasingly came to dislike, Ong depicted many of the leading personalities of the day. This splendid painting, see this is a direct quote. Well, look what I've done. I'm putting it in quotation marks. I'm not plagiarizing this. I'm saying, yes, yeah, somebody else wrote this, but I agree, and I want to use it here to develop whatever I'm going to say down here. All right? So I'm putting that in quotation marks, and at the end of this, or maybe right here, I would put in parentheses, see reference one, or footnote it if you want to, or reference two. I don't know how many I'm going to have, but anyway, giving me some kind of uh, credibility. I'm not trying to pass this off as my own. And then I'm going to say, in this portrait, the subject is surrounded by texture, satin and lace and brocade. Uh, and this is also stated, and I'm just telling you here, this is stated in that website that I've referred to here or below or wherever I'm going to put it, okay? Uh, so, uh, again, I'm not just looking at the picture and saying, ah, yes, that's satin, lace, and brocade, although it does, and I could. It is stated in that web page someplace that, uh, and I'll bring that, that I copied back from the web page here. Um, the princess is seen uh, in rich satin and lace of the sitter's gown, the silk damask upholstery, yada, yada, yada. Okay? So all that's there, um, but I'm just, you know, paraphrasing it, which means I'm putting it in my own words, but I'm still referring, okay? But you might just say, by observation, I can tell that that's satin, and you really can. And one of the most luscious things about this particular painting, a portrait that Ang did, is the texture he gives you. It's, it's obviously a visual texture. If you touch this, it's going to feel like paint, or in this case, maybe your monitor screen. But it looks, does it not, it just looks like satin and brocade and lace. So a master of that. He was, he was just brilliant. I might talk about the style. I might say that it's um, certainly naturalistic, and it's just to the point of photorealism. I mean, it looks so real. Look, look at her skin quality. It just a baby skin. It's just, just an amazing thing. All right. So I might state that, and I might talk more than just about the texture, which is an element of design. I might talk about color, for an example. The fact that the blue and the yellow are complementary colors on the color wheel. That means that they accentuate each other. That yellow, when it's placed by a blue, makes that blue look all the deeper and richer, and vice versa. Okay. So I might put that all also on there, and here it is. I wrote that down here. I, I stated that, and that's by observation. I don't have to say that. I'm not plagiarizing. I just looked at it and said, this is my idea, and put it there. If I had read it in that article, then I really would be bound to kind of give credit to that article. Okay? That's just to get you started on this. And like I say, the more that we do in terms of the writing kind of assignment you're going to have, you're going to be expected to cite your references, to cite where you're getting this information. And remember, Wikipedia is not an acceptable course for the or citation. I'm sorry. For the most uh, for the most part, going to webliography on the site page will take care of your your uh, the information you need. Not always, and certainly you can do a search on the internet. Just be very careful. You get a, a creditable source. Uh, the reason Wikipedia, of course, is not always looked at is anybody can write something and put it on Wikipedia. I could write, for an example, that this was Ong's mother. It was not, but I could write that in Wikipedia, and then some student could come along, read it, and say, oh, well, I read that it was, you know, so there's no real credibility to that. Now, most of the times, it's pretty darn accurate, so don't be surprised if you have trouble finding mistakes, because they're, for the most part, they are pretty accurate. What I kind of use Wikipedia for is just to give me a general idea. And then I go out and kind of run down sources and see if I can find out more. Anyway, this is just to kind of get you started on this, making sure you understand how serious we are about your doing these, uh, citing your sources. And be sure you, uh, like I said earlier, go to this MLA style book. And ultimately, that's how you want to do it, okay? I wish you luck on this and a lot more to learn, huh? Well, I'm sure you'll do a fine job. Thanks very much for your attention.